Hello everyone, this is Mahtis only for Card Runners. Welcome to my replayer video. Today's theme is certainly post flop play, and we're gonna go through quite a few river spots, especially. So um, most of the videos that I've made as sit and goes are heavily focused on pre flop and flop play. The the hands that I've gone through in replayers also heavily focus on pre flop and flop play. But uh, I've been marking some interesting hands while I've been playing, and keeping in mind that I do want to keep do videos of these eventually and now I just gathered enough hands that I can actually make and compile a video of uh, post, -flop post flop stuff. But without further ado, uh, let's get on with it. And the first hand we have 7-6 student on the big blind and under the gun limps, who's a random, I don't recognize him. Or uh, the name isn't completely unfamiliar, but uh, I don't recognize him as a reg. And small blind folds over heads up. I check and I hit second pair on a fairly dry board. This is where I always and forever. I was gonna say I always and forever lead, but <laughs> for some reason I don't. Okay, so we face a bet and I check call. Okay, I might have probably been multi tabling and I've just missed the spot where I have second pair on a, on a board like this and I decide, yeah, I just missed the bet. But my usual line here is to lead out to charge, charge draws and deny equity from over cards to my pair of sixes and whatever. And uh, on the turn I hit a seven, which is a very, very nice card. So here, there's no reason to go sneaky and tricky. There's really, really no reason to go 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 tricky. A, uh, villain still has tons of draws in his range, and uh, we do want to get value from queen X, and uh, even semi-bluff hands like seven, eight, just uh, improved equity in his, in his range, and uh, we do want to charge all sorts of hands that have a random, hands like 4-5, for example, 4-5 suited, that can easily open limp in his in his hands, and uh, seriously, no reason to try and induce a check raise or anything like that. Just go for value. It doesn't matter if it's blatantly obvious that you just hit something. It doesn't matter. It's The randoms don't think on that level. They're just going to see their own cards most of the time and just play according to that. So uh, just make a strong bet and uh, go for value. He does flat and uh, reverse a king, which is fine. Uh, king queen got there and all sorts of not too many, not too many other king x hands hit it. But uh, I go for fairly strong value, a little bit under half pot. I do want to ensure that I get maximum value from really mediocre holdings because most of his range is missed draws or. Um, or some very sort of mediocre strength hands, such as uh, 6x or um, queen x, so on and so on. However, we face a river shove. And I marked this hand because I just wanted to point out that we're bluff catching here. And it doesn't matter if our hand is a two pair. Like, it's the absolute value of a two pair is fairly strong, but hands always have an absolute value and a relative value. A two pair is a fold if you think that uh, you're bluff catching and the villain is not bl not bluffing often enough. Uh, this is a very, very tricky spot. And I remember that I was thinking about this for quite some time before I actually uh, go went ahead and hit the fold button. Because um, the villain isn't very credibly representing much. But at the same time, River raises, when you face a river race, especially a river race this big, it is strong by definition. Like, yes, I might have just gotten bluffed out of the pot. Certainly possible. But in my experience, and I've even made some database study on it, uh, when you face a river race like this, it's most often value. It is something that was pocket fours, pocket sixes, pocket sevens all along that uh, just wanted to play slow and tricky, or it's a better two pair, or or it's every once in a blue moon, it is a missed draw. It can also be a hand like 5-8 suited. There's there's some, some draws that were completed on, on the turn. Yes, it is. It looks a little bit like uh, he missed a 
hard draw, but it's incredibly exceptional for random villains to raise the river as a bluff when they miss a draw. Yes, they can bet the river as a bluff if they miss a draw, but it's incredibly rare to see people raise rivers as a bluff, especially this big. And any sort of a single pair hand just doesn't raise here. Not even King X. Like, if if he had King 3 of hearts or King Jack of hearts or something like that, I really don't think he's raising the river. Because he just got there on the river and he's going to be like, Whew, oh, I hit something. Let's call and let's hope we're good. So, um... All that, all things considered, I did fold, and I and I think that is certainly a uh, reasonable move to make here. 